Hey y'all, Joe here with Southern Coast Cooking. Tonight, I'm going to do a beef eye round roast on the Barrel House Cooker. You know, watch here. I've got about a, a, a five pound beef eye round here. Uh, I've just picked this dude up from Sam's. I'm going to uh, first get the rest of the paper off of it. And uh, I'm going to trim it up a little bit. Let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to, you know, they got kind of like this, this big, this hard fat on here. You don't want this. You kind of just trim that down some, just like that, y'all. And uh, go ahead, you know, just, just trim on along here. Take that off. We don't really need that. So that's not adding much flavor. Uh, we're, you know, with the way we're cooking this, it won't have much time to render down anyway. It'd just be a chewy piece of fat on there. We don't really want that. What I am going to do, though, is leave just a little bit up to the top and I'll show you. So I'm going to put the hook through to hold some on this thing. But I'll show you that in a second. And when we get this off with any kind of silver skin or anything like that on the roast. So just kind of clean them up here a little bit. See that there? It's a little bit of silver skin. Real thin, thin layer though. Probably not enough to hurt anything. Still kind of get that off. Scrape underneath there. Get that any that stuff off. And I'm gonna put the hook right through here. So I leave some of that on. Where we hook him. I'll take some more of this stuff off here, like that. Okay. And that'll be good enough. I mean, you don't have to get everything off. Obviously, you want to leave a little bit on. Just want to clean up somewhat there. So, we got that going. Let's go with some seasoning. With seasoning, I'm going to use this LaRue Dillo Rub or Dillo Dust Dry Rub. This is good seasoning. Good on beef. Use it on brisket and stuff like that. Let's get a base on here first. Mustard. So, I'm going to use a little bit of this hot so uh, barbecue sauce here. This is a spicy Rufus tea. It's really too... Too spicy for most applications, but still do fine with this thin rub like this. We just want this on here just really to uh, to get the uh, the rub to stick. So I'll put that on there and just kind of actually rub it around, and it's going to give us a nice little little coating here for uh, for what we're trying to do. A little bit on the tip there. All right, so that'll be good. Get that on there nice and even. And like I said, just basically we want to make it to where this rub will stick. Give it a binder, so to speak. All right, so go on with this LaRue Dillo Dust. It's a really good rub, y'all, for this sort of thing. Flip around a little bit. Get this side, we'll get all sides and everything. Tell you what, this sauce smells like a, a spicy Bloody Mary. <laughs> I mean, it is some hot stuff. So, but like I said, this thin little layers don't hurt anything. I'm talking about the, not the not the rub, but that barbecue sauce, spicy. Go ahead, and put a little bit on here like this, and then get the bottom here. Get a good, good little layer on there. All right, so uh, you basically got to dust it up with the Dillo dust, and you know that's what we want to see there. And let it just hang out for a minute while we get the grill, the uh, barrel cooker ready, barrel house. Right down through here, where I left that little piece of fat on here, is where we're gonna put the hook. Go ahead and push them through here like this, and just. Uh, Make sure, you know what, that's a, that's a thicker little piece of fat on this end. Let's go from this end. Alright. So what we're going to do, we're going to hook right through there. Using that little piece of fat is something to help us hold on. Alright. So you got that, that'll be good right there. That'll be enough to hold this roast there in the cooker. Alright, so I'm going to leave that just like that. And uh, we will apply a little more of this rub. And we'll go get the uh, barrel house cooker ready.
Now this is a accessory you can get for the barrel house cooker. This is a small chimney here. It's really, really great. See, I got all my coals lit in here, and we're fixing to put them right down here in the base of the barrel house cooker. Let me just pour this right over the main coals. You know, just get this one and get everything nice and hot cooking. That'd be perfect. Let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna go get the uh, other half of the cooker. My smoking wedge uh, loaded up with some of those 100% uh, orchard cherry uh, smoke ring barbecue pellets. This is gonna be our smoke source, y'all. So we'll set that right there on top. I love those pellets because it's not too, too strong. Uh, in the cherry flavor or something like this. And then I'm getting the uh, getting the uh, barrel house cooker ready here. We're about to uh, put it on top of the main part. So let's go ahead and do that. Put this on here. Y'all can see. You can make sure everything flush. Put that down. We'll clip this side down. Go ahead and open this up. It open for a couple minutes. That's what we want to do. Let's let that heat up for a minute or two. And let's go get our uh, eye round, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to go ahead and put this eye round down in here on the H frame. Set them over here. And uh, want everything just to fit just right. There you go. Just hung them there. And I've got this uh, temperature probe here. I'm going to run through this hole here. I just want to have a probe in this thing because the last thing you want with a nice eye around something like this for it to get overdone. So we're going to see exactly how long it takes. Put my probe wires through there. And we'll shut the lid, y'all. I mean, looks great down there. Let me take you up and over so you can see. Y'all, look at that. Just hanging right there, y'all. And a good smoke right over the coals. You cook, you know, old school style. Like we out west or something cooking over the pit. Here we go. We'll check in about 20 minutes. Y'all, it's been 25 minutes and we're about 70 degrees inside the uh, inside the row. So we're about halfway there. Obviously, it'll probably start, uh, you know, coming up to temp faster now. But I just want to let you know the 25-minute mark is not where, you know, first checkpoint. So anyway, we're going to keep on rolling. All right, y'all, we've been on here for about an hour. We're at 110 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and we're gonna put a special sauce here on this eye brown. And oh yeah, it's gonna be really, really good. Let me show y'all here what we're gonna do. Go ahead and take that off there. Now I am gonna use this little tool to take it off. All you do is you slide a little tool on here. And boom, right there. Look at that. I'll sit lay right up here on the tray. All right, and we'll take this bad boy inside for just a minute. So I'm gonna glaze this thing up really right now, and then we'll put it back on the hot fire. Now I'm gonna use my good friend JB his uh, glaze recipe. Well, not exactly because his calls for mustard, and I don't have any. So um, take some brown sugar, and normally he put a little bit of mustard on there instead of mustard. I'm gonna have to use a one, whatever. A1 steak sauce. Right there, like that. And then we'll take some Brewster Share sauce. Get this open. There you go. Alright, there it goes. Sprinkle a little bit of that on there. Basically, we're doing this just to dissolve the brown sugar. Right there. And let's just take a basin brush and kind of stir this around just for a minute all right that looks about thick enough there thin enough let's add a little bit more of the more of what they want okay in fact I'm gonna add a little honey to this y'all hold up just a second I think honey will give this a nice zing Honey with the brown sugar, two different meal sugars. Okay. Stir it 
stir that around. Now, I'm going to take this and we'll glaze this um, eye brown with it. Alright? So what the idea is just put a nice little paint of glaze on here. Now, I've got the uh, railhouse cooker out there getting really hot with the lid cracked. There's a way you can crack the lid. And uh, I'm going to put this dude back on there and we're just going to let this, this stuff just gonna basically sear on there, y'all. I mean, it's going to caramelize and give us a wonderful crust on top. Let's go ahead and we'll paint it all on here first. So I got it all on there and then we'll go back out hanging in the cooker. See how I've had the cooker propped open like that? Out here just get, letting it get hot. And I'm going to flip. There's a little bar back here. We can just uh, flip it down. Grow up. I'll show you all one day how to do that. I'm going to close it now. And then we're going to come back out here with uh, the meat hanging right in there, y'all. All right, what we're going to do now, basically, is about a 10 minutes. we hang in here and just let this puppy just get to, <laughs> oh, this good crust on there. Hanging right here. All right, shut it. Come back in about 10 minutes. Hey y'all, after 10 minutes, we are at a perfect 125, 126. That's just what I want to see because what I want is uh, to let it rest a little bit inside, come up, you know, about seven or eight more degrees. But look at that, even that perfect crust, you know. Oh man, this this barrel house cooker has done a wonderful job. And, you know, there's convection in, inside of there. The way this is designed, you know, to get an even heat. You notice, I mean, none of this is, is burn or more cooked than the other. I mean, everything's just got that wonderful, perfect char on there. So let's just lift this up out of here. All right, so let me go ahead and get my little tool here. And grab that. And lift this bad boy up out. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Just lay them here on this plate. And bring it inside and just let everything rest for a few minutes while we finish off the sauce. So oh, just look at that wonderful crust. I mean that, that mahogany crust on, on that uh goodness on that eye brown. That that's just gorgeous. But anyway, we'll show you all that white rest. We're gonna go ahead and finish off our sauce here. We'll simply finish off this sauce. So we got about a cup of it left. No, about a quarter cup left. And put it in the microwave for about 45 seconds. Then we'll add a pat of butter in, it. and that's it, y'all. So it's nice and hot there. And basically, all you want to do is add about a tablespoon of butter right there. You can stir it around with your little whisk. Let's melt that in there. And this is just a sauce that. You don't really dip or anything. It's just a real light, light sauce. You can brush on some of the pieces. Oh, I mean, just really, really, really add a little zing of flavor if you want to. But anyway, like I said, just stir that until you see that butter dissolve. It's kind of a little finishing sauce, so to speak. That's going to be really, really good for those who uh, want just a little bit extra of the sauce. Stuff like that. It's super sweet. Mm-hmm. I said you could uh, add a little bit more Worcestershire. Do that like that. You come over here with it. All dolled up like it is. And uh, just give it a little hit this sauce here. Just a little brushing. There's a little varnish basically this sauce. And like I said, you don't want to dip. This stuff be a little too sweet to just start dipping your stuff into. But it's going to give it this perfect kind of glaze, so to speak. You want everything. Again, you want to let this meat sit here for a minute or so. Let everything just, just blend on in. All the flavors just kind of mingle. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good right there. That's really gorgeous. Which also I got more of my, another one of my Zen knives, a Zen carving knife here, and we gonna, we're gonna give this a try, y'all. Let's just slice this. Oh look at that, <laughs> that crust. It's gonna be the best piece right there. Look at that beauty. Slicing up just 
gorgeous. Oh wow, steam just coming off of it. This is just amazing. And the juice. Oh yes, sir. I'm about to, have to try this, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm gonna cut one more piece. There we go. Now let's give it a try. Alright, Sue. So let's give it a try, y'all. Oh yeah. Look at that. Seasoning right through there. Oh yeah, the juice. Can't wait. Dillo dusted uh I mean pillow dusted uh eye of round roast. Mmm mm 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 that pit biller pit barrel made a I mean just a perfection of this y'all. It's absolutely delicious. A little crust on there. Mm -mm -mm. Get over the juice and salt in. I say the tenderness. Look at that. I mean, just absolutely tender. It's a little piece of fat run through there. Didn't look so much though, but I mean, it is tender, y'all. That's, that's wonderful. Five round. <laughs> you can't beat that. Mm hmm. That crust. JB Salsa said with this Dillo dust here. Awesome, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Please um, sub my channel, like my videos. Thank y'all so much. Check the description box for links to all this stuff. You know, where you can get the uh, Zen knives, you know, the uh, barrel house cooker. Man, that, that thing's great. I love it. Every, every time I use it, I love it even more. So. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a good night. God bless. Thanks so much.